Cody's Molasses, also done by Nippon on her solo album Nippon. Um, so this song, let's check this. Is right. Yep. Um, or this kind of cover, what I'm going to show you is kind of a combination of those things and just the way I play it. So I've I've linked um, pretty informative performance by Nippon. Uh, it shows a lot of her guitar technique that you should definitely reference. All right, so let's get into it. So with I might include that kind of intro um, at the tail end of this, but let's get to the meat. Um, the might not get any better. Starts with G minor seven, and Nippon bars it, and she bars most of her chords um, with uh, including the fifth with her ring finger, and it frees up her pinky to accompany her voice on the high G string. So it's uh, A B O G might not. After that, we go to a D minor 7 over C, um, hammer on to a F major 7 over C. Uh, and that's on the downbeat of the next measure, so. And with the lyrics. And then we move down to a D minor 7. And Napalm is like hammering on for most of the time in this really nice way that I don't do and I don't know how to do or didn't try yet, at least. Just take a look at her hands, take a look, at, listen real carefully. But it's a hammer on. I think that pull off is kind of nice too because it accompanies the any. Any better. Uh, get it any better might not um yeah and so that just repeats itself throughout most of the time um when it gets to the high note um get your head i like to accompany myself on that c so might not get it uh oh might transition she likes to throw this a on there as like kind of a tr um, pickup bass note any better you so we'll put that in and now we're to the next part verse i don't know pre-chorus you the bone hunter and we're on that g minor seven again you the bone hunter right with an armored heart g minor seven and then we have a e seven over G to a C9. Fun fact, when hitting the C9, which you do frequently in the song, Napalm's backup vocals are sometimes an F, an F sharp or a G flat. So it's that nice flat five in there. Um, you're the bone hunter, relic with an armored heart. It's a quick transition. Color of sulfur, banished to a single bar. Um, and then our next part is, I'll sing it and then review it. For something smolder and don't forget your state of the art. Very deep in the soil, selfless or not. Oh, so E flat major 7 here. That normal E flat major 7 shape. Um, very deep in flat major seven which may fingers this way which is has this bar here over the sixth fret um our pinky on the fifth or the um, eighth fret seventh fret seventh fret but i don't need to play the whole things so i'll just grab the top low, or the lowest strings um so very deep in the soul selfless soul 
Da. So that was the end part of it. So sliding down with the same shape, B flat major seven, A flat major seven, um, which is cool. I like it. Well, just watch the timing on the parts before it. Porcelain, small turn, don't forget ya. It's kind of a little wait before you get to the A flat. Porcelain, small turn, don't forget ya, stay down. And uh, I don't know if she just does octaves here or the fifths, but I just do them all for that. So it's G, kind of power chord to A major power chord. And um, not A major, just A power chord and uh, this kind of B minor sus thing that I like to do instead she does this like G over B I'm not exactly sure which note she's hitting uh, but I think this is a little more richer and fuller up here same kind of quality very deep in the soil selfless I like to come to myself in the bass on that. Buried, that's B flat A. Buried, E flat major again. Deep in the soul. Same thing we did before. Selfless are done. Now we're kind of in the chorus part. And I'll play that for you. It could be a compass red. It's so bountiful. It could be the other. repeat that chord progression throughout the rest of that section. I'll sing it higher um, next time. It's very, it gets down to a low F. Um, I like to play kind of what Bender does in the bass because it's uh, rhythmic, it goes well really with the, the vocals, but May is like doing that, that A major 7, A, F major 7 chord shape. But I like just, it could be a compass red. It's so bountiful. So that is F, A, sorry, G minor 7, A minor 7, B major 7, A minor 7, G, A, G. Just let you remind that one. <laughs> Go on. The next one is F, G, A, B, D minor versions before a e flat major now we'll do that slowly both of them together and it repeats it could be a compass red it's so bountiful. It could be the opposing opinion. And it continues on that way. Um, the next part uh, is running with my eyes closed. And we're back at the beginning doing something similar and with one alteration towards the end of the lyrics. Um, so running with my eyes closed. G minor 7. Finding the lines with the focus. Running with my eyes closed. Finding no moments in the woodwork. I see cold, cold frail. Mechanical and frail. Um, so for that part, I like to take our F major 7 that was up here, which we can play. Um, but I like to bring it down to F9. Fortunately, we do have a second kind of clashing with the voice frail. That's a note. We were playing a second away from in the uh, guitar, but it's only for a second, so it's all cool. Frail. But you can keep playing that F up here. Frail. But that's much that diamond shape. I think it's fun to mix up. And the next part will be the same. So that's not doing our diamond shape F, but doing it up here. And we'll go back to um, our next part. You are the bow and hunter, I live with an armored heart. Same chords as before. Color of so far, banished to a C 
single walk. Um, and we have the same walk down porcelain smolder and don't forget your sweet of the art very deep in the soul selfless of the Let's just go reference the, like what we did before for that. I like to reharmon it harm harmonize it. Um like so. Porcelain smolder and don't forget your state of the heart buried deep in the soil selfless of the heart. There's a cover I did of a song somewhere. That's what happens. Anyways, um we go to might not get bed any better again and similar chords, D minor seven. Might not get any better. Um, but now we add our D minor seven, C minor seven. Get any better. Oh, better, yeah, better. And the B flat major seven there. That again, just humming it, not singing too loud. Mm -hmm. part um, which I recommend you just kind of do one cycle it's kind of a, if you're just accompanying yourself feedback I've gotten is that if you do it twice like she does it gets a little warm um, so that's G minor 7 again so G minor 7 C 9 for that one and you can company, company yourself, I think she's better. It's one of the ones she does. That'd be fun. Um, and you hold that out to transition into the ending chorus. Ta um, yeah, and if you want to do that, I think she does something like that. I cannot put my, my finger on it, so you're gonna have to check it out. All right, ending chords. Um, so same as the one before, um, but I like to intro it this this particular way um, because it's just a little more exciting, and then go back to the usual way. You can be a compass, a So that's our F, G minor seven. Get a nice hit, and we have just an. The higher version of E minor seven, which is up here. D minor seven, and fall back to G minor seven. You can be compass, You can be the apple in a vineyard. This one, you just kind of be playing the same chords, but just run a little faster, more so divided for for energy. Um, so let's talk about the end. Um, the vocal goes, point of letting it go. It actually keeps ascending up. And this is not exactly what they do, but it works guitar-wise. Um, you can be point of letting slide down at the end like they do. Um, so walk you through that with our F, G minor 7, A minor 7, B major, D minor, back to A minor, slide down to A flat minor, and then we have like a D uh, dominant something uh, going to E flat major. So the fingering that it could be the point of letting it go. Slide down with that. All right. 
but that wasn't too long and didn't have too many sticks. Have fun. So the intro is like kind of a B flat major 7 arpeggio. Um, and I put it here. So. B flat D F A B flat. Um, and then we go to a C major chord or E, F major chord, and then um, kind of like a C2 over E, hammer on to a C over E. It's not the chord quality that's there in the song, but it's what we can cover with our fingers. So together. But I was doing it on electric guitar because that was pretty ratchet. Anyways, a bar over on the seventh fret and um, got my on, wow, I just don't know frets, eighth fret borrowed with my middle finger on the B and E string, the high B and E string, hammering with our ring finger and pinky. second time the vocals are in or whatever but it doesn't last too long um, so after immediately after we do our hammer ons fourths so that lick up to a D major 7 chord over C F major 7, E flat major 7, and then F or G. Right, right. Alright, sure, that's all you need to watch. <laughs> 